Hello fellow Sudokans, welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Saturday the 22nd of November 2025, it's evening here in Thailand. It's not super late yet though, uh, there's still several hours left before I head off to the land of Nod. And uh, what's going on in the world? It seems that these uh, the current crop of uh, wannabe dictators seem to have idiot sons that presumably want to form part of a dynasty. I should like, I like the American pronunciation of that, dynasty. <laughs> That's a much better word <laughs> for those kind of people. But anyway, they, they want some kind of dynasty. And uh, they, um, the one, of course, there's Trump with his idiot sons, uh, <laughs> Eric and Don Jr., dumb juniors, some people call him. Um, and uh, in Brazil, uh, Bolsonaro has a, an idiot son as well. Now, who, he may have scuppered the luxury treatment that Bolsonaro has been getting. Bolsonaro's been sentenced to 27 years in prison uh, after masterminding a coup uh, to stop um, um, the election, stop the, you know, to uh, overturn uh, um, the outcome of the election in 2022. And. Um, uh, he's been living the life of luxury in his villa, I think it is, or I'm not sure. It's, it's anyway his private accommodation, uh, which of course is very luxurious because he's got enough money to last forever. And um, <laughs> his idiot son decided they were, they're going to organise some kind of demonstration, calling it a vigil outside on uh, Saturday evening and suddenly the authorities have got a bit nervous and they've taken Bolsonaro in <laughs> into custody. I'm laughing because I think uh, he should be in custody anyway. anyway. Uh, I, I, this is waiting for the appeals process to be, to, to be carried out. Um, but I think it's a pretty clear-cut case. So um, assuming there hasn't been any hanky-panky in the uh, legal system and I think that's not the case. Uh, he should be convicted anyway. Um, so uh, maybe you should get used to it, Bolsonaro, and you've got your idiot son, Flavio, to thank for your current arrest. Uh, let's hope Don Jr. and <laughs> and the other idiot can uh, organise Trump's uh, downfall as well. That wouldn't surprise me. Let's start our game of uh, expert level from the El Pais, expert, uh, from El Pais Sudoku section. We'll start with a six there, be just because, 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 because. I can see a four and a five in this row. I see a four and a five in this row. That's hit, hit my eye. And so I can see that four and five must be in those squares there. What does it mean? Uh, let's look across here. So we've got four and five. We're looking for one, which is over there. Uh, one, seven, eight, nine, I think it is, right? One, seven, eight, nine. One, nine. Ah, I was hoping I might get something there. All right, we'll just keep it in memory for later use. We've got seven across here, seven blocking across here, seven blocking up there. There's a seven. Another pair, six and seven blocking down here, six and seven blocking across there. We found a pair of six and seven in those squares. What does it mean? It means eight blocks down here. So eight is in one of these two squares here. So eight blocking across there, across there, and eight blocking down there. That must be our eight. Eight going northwards, there and there, and eight across here gives us eight in that square. Seven blocks down here, seven blocks across there. There is our seven. 
Seven up here, seven down there, there's seven. Two blocks across there, there's the two missing digit here is nine. One blocks this square here, so that's one for that column. And back down here to complete the column with three. One blocking across and across. Okay, let's have another look at this. So we had four and five in these squares. So back over here, we're now looking for one, seven, eight in those squares. And we got seven and eight together, so that will be our one. One blocking up here and across there. There's a one, one down here, one up there. Oh, come on. One across there and there. Across there, up here, and up there. I'm moving too fast for my mouse. I'm just too fast for my mouse. Uh, digit one is now finished. seven blocks this square here we know that this is four and five over here and so that's the only place where a seven can go and eight is the last square that's not four or five last number that's not four or five i should say eight blocks across here eight blocks up there there's our digit eight Seven blocks across this way, this way, and down here. There's a seven. Seven goes up. Se <coughs> seven goes down. Seven goes across and across. And that's where the final seven hangs its hat. Five blocks this square over here. When we go in this direction and see what we can do with fives, we can see that it's going to be either there or there. So blocking across there. So neither of these two squares can be five, right? Now we said four and five have to be in those squares there. So now we know that's the five. Hello? Hmm. Keyboard's sleeping again. Come on, keyboard. Okay, I'm going to twiddle the batteries around in my keyboard. It's a wireless keyboard. It's pretty good Logitech. It's getting very old though. Served me extremely well through many iterations of hacking tosh that I used to have <laughs> before. Uh, right, okay, the four is in four blocks up there. That gives me a four in that square there. Uh, okay, we've got three and nine blocking up here like this, so those squares must be three and nine. In fact, let's just do this. Three blocks those squares there, that's our three. And then we've got nine blocking down there, that's going to be a nine. 
much easier like that, isn't it? Eight blocks across there, there's the eight, and the missing digit here is six. Six blocks across there and down there, there's a six in that square. The missing digit here is nine. Down here, we're looking for a five. Oh, still delayed. Um, <coughs> and the missing numbers here are what? Um, do, 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 four and nine. So these are six and eight. So we've got six blocking across there. There's a six. That's got to be the eight. And eight is now finished. Uh, might be a good idea to hit on the digits that we need now to see what's going on with them. Two blocks across here, that means two is in one of those squares blocking down. That means that must be our two there. Two blocks down here, across there and across there. So that's our two. Uh, let's move on. Threes. Oh, there's one empty square there. That's a three then. So three blocking up here puts three into one of these squares here. So three and two block across there. It means that three and two are in those squares. And this must be a five. So when the five comes back and we say five is in one of these two squares blocking down, and the five blocks down there, that five across there, that must be five. Three stops this square from becoming a three, so let's put the three there and let's come back down and put four there, shall we? Four blocks across there, there's our four, there's our nine. <coughs> four blocks up here, there is a four. last number to get here is 9 I think okay so up here we are still looking for 2 and 5 and that makes this square a 6 and down here we're looking for 3 so 3 across there there's a 3 and then 9 9 blocks across there there's a 9 this is 4 four blocks up here so this game is over and again it's been a pretty easy game so not too much of a challenge today in terms of sudoku just a challenge in ordinary living life <laughs> as best you can uh, in this crazy world that we seem to be living in five blocks across there there's our five missing digit here is two two blocks across there there's our two the last number to go there's a three three blocks there there's a three and nine Finishes today's uh, expert level puzzle from the El Pay from El Pais. Thank you. Uh, enjoy the rest of your Saturday, and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care. Bye bye.